now. Yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully one more shows up. These things pick up pretty well, really. I keep, you can hear me right now. I know you can hear me right now. Well, I can. Well, through that. This boy scares. I do. That's why I announce a lot. Willow's in the house. They love me. Yeah, they love me to have, be loud and get people loud. I have a booming voice sometimes. When I get home, my wife says I mumble though. Stop mumbling. There we go. We got five. Good afternoon or evening, I guess. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Well then, since we got everybody here, we'll go ahead and call this meeting to order. We'll start off. Uh, I would like to request the staff confirmation that the Kansas Open Meeting Act required notice has been properly provided. Yes. All right. Yeah, we're moving right on to 1.2, introduction of newly appointed commissioner, but they're not here today. Okay. All right. Table till February. Um, then pretty much moving right in. Approval of the minutes. Oh, let's do a roll call first. Yeah. Let's do roll call. Here. 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 Okay. Hey, now we can hear you. Okay. Now that we know we're all here, I was just kind of rushing getting ahead there. Mm -hmm. uh, then we'll move into the approval of the minutes from December. And if I could have a motion to approve. So moved. And a second. A second. And all in favor, say aye. 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 We have approved the minutes. They look straight. Moving into section 3.1, the 2020 Fair Housing <coughs> Seminar. Where are we at on that? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I promise I'm not turning it off on purpose. Um, and so the flyer does have, you know, all the, the basic information on it. We're really excited this year. There are some kind of changes to the flow of the event. We're going to have a couple different sessions, options. Um, we have a keynote speaker um, and a panel. And um, I think there's uh, definitely um, something for everybody this year that maybe hasn't been provided in the past. We're going to, uh, we have been approved to offer four social work, social worker continuing education credits, um, which is great. <laughs> you, we need to applaud Evelyn for that. She worked really hard on getting that taken care of. Um, and then the application has been submitted for attorney and real estate agent continuing ed credits. So. Hopefully by um, the time we'll also have approval for that too. Um, but I think that's um, definitely a, a positive 
um, thing that hasn't been, um, we haven't been able to provide in the past, which has been something that we've been asked about. Uh, the cost has not changed. It's still a $30 non-refundable registration fee. We have, um, we're still in the works of trying to see if, you know, we can do, uh, we can get sponsorships for, um, to cover costs if that's, you know, we don't want that to be a barrier for people not be, you know, not be able to attend. But we are um, just excited that we're, you know, March will be here before you know it. So we're going to, you know, start kind of sharing this with the community and, and start registering people and get things moving. When it comes to our lovely commissioners, um, we do need um, volunteer help this year. Um, because of the change with the, um, com with the sessions and the credits, we need people to si help sign in for those credits. We need uh, kind of keeping track of that and we are going to be moving from room to room, which is something different. We usually kind of just stay in one room. And so we're going to need a, a lot more volunteer help than we have usually needed in the past. We, uh, at, from the very beginning, we need an MC volunteer. Um, we kind of had talked about um, one of our commissioners in specifically. <laughs> I know a guy. Um, I do know a that guy. might want to <laughs> MC, but we didn't want to, you know, put, him on the spot. <laughs> put this commissioner on the spot. I'll, I'll check with him. <laughs> but, um, you know, we thought that it'd be great to have one of our commissioners be an MC. Oh, consider it done. For the event. Um, and so we would also like, I'm just kind of going to go a quick break. Um, down of the event. We would also like to have one volunteer doing the initial morning check-in. Um, it may, I think the biggest reason why we, we want to solidify volunteer help um, were, it may be a, um, a working force of one staff member there that day. We're not sure yet. We'll keep you guys updated. Um, but we just want to make sure that our base is good. <laughs> that we're e exactly that we're being proactive and we're not waiting till the last minute to get this taken care of. So, if we c we would definitely love to have our MC, and I'm going to already put a star by that because um, you know a man, and he said <laughs> that you're going to talk to him, and you got the inside right. scoop. Yeah. So that'd be great. Um, so just morning volunteer to help with the sign in. And that's really, we do all the, most of the, you know, the legwork, the um, name tags and everything like that, sign in sheet. It's really just helping people um, find their names, get them, you know, guide them to where they need to go, provide them if um, we do folders or binders, provide them with what they need, just kind of setting them up for the morning. Um, I, I would be happy to do that. Okay. Awesome. We'll still have our booth, the HRC yes. booth there too, so that we can have people working too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, um, I and I will definitely. Um, I'm writing names down, and then as we, as we move into probably at the end of this month, I'll, I'll send out a more revised template of of this just to make sure that these times still work for everyone, and mm -hmm. and if we need to kind of shift some, you know, some times around, uh, we will. Our, you know, our MC will probably do our welcome. Um, with uh, Evelyn, we will have a keynote speaker. Are we saying who that is yet? Yeah, I was going to try not to talk because <laughs> I start coughing, but um, I'm excited to say our keynote speaker is Judge Jared Johnson. Um, he um, is over uh, the drug court um, for the county, and um, he um, is very learned about civil rights um, law and um, policy and everything, and um, and then he gets to see it kind of in real life, you know, um, when it comes to housing. I mean, uh, we know that that's a, a full circle type of thing, so when people are in drug court and they're trying to, you know, get their lives turned around, housing is a big part of that, so uh, we're really excited about him being able to um, speak at our event, and, and um, um, it's just really a cool thing, I think, to have a keynote speaker at our fair housing seminar. So, And just kind of a fun fact, Judge Johnson does have um, a history with the office, uh, kind of working with the office. So he's um, 
that also has that passion of fair housing and, and is very knowledgeable with it. And so it's great to kind of combine, you know, all of that together. Um, we will have a panel this year um, from nonprofit agencies, and it's going to be um, focusing on, on talking about breaking the cycle of housing instability. Mm, you know, yes. our, our nonprofits um, are, are huge resources in Salina. We hear it all the time that people, Salina is kind of a, um, uh, you know, kind of spearheads the way and a, a lot of, you know, our neighboring cities, even in our bigger cities in Kansas, you know, people come to Salina because they'll constantly say, well, I came here because we, I was told that Salina has resources or Salina knows how to help, you know, help people. Um, and so we have reached out to a couple of our nonprofits and they they've, uh, uh, were very gracious and accepting and we're going to have a panel and have this discussion and we're really excited about um, kind of making it a little bit more personable um, and getting kind of these these experiences, but also opening the dialogue to, you know, to having these conversations that I think aren't always had. Um, so we're really excited about that. We um, will then have a break but and then move into our first session. Our session you will be able to choose um, from two separate uh, categories. And so we need two volunteers for that morning session. One volunteer to help us register anybody that would need this the continue, continuing education credits in one of the session rooms and then another volunteer to help with the other room. And so we foresee that being around from 11 to 11.55. Um, so that's, again, I'll send this out. So if you know you don't know your schedule quite yet and you want to get back to me but we would definitely need two volunteers for that time schedule we'll go to lunch after that and then right after lunch we'll go into our second round of sessions and we'll need another volunteer another two volunteers for those for those two sessions in, okay. in those rooms do you have any idea who's going to be on the panel at this point or who is confirmed or is that top secret still no we can say who's confirmed we got a couple that are almost there but you can so we, um we've reached out to catholic charities okay. um the salvation army uh, consumer credit counseling oh i'm gonna forget um <laughs> see now we don't remember one, two, oh, three. Three. Oh, I was we just have kidding. a social worker from yes. um K K Dub. okay <clears throat> do you have nice. suggestions <gasps> Yeah, okay. maybe. How about I send you an email? Okay. Would that be good? Yeah. Um, that's course. exciting, though, to have. Mm -hmm. Are you going to be advertising that as a portion of it, like who's going to be on the panel or who the keynote speaker is? Will that be in any future advertising? I think on our Facebook page, we'll definitely go more in, in depth as far as kind of a breakdown of what um, the sessions and what the panel is going to be about with the keynote speaker. Okay. Um, so we'll definitely try to, on the flyers, just a little more, you know, mm -hmm. there's so much information yeah. you want to pack into, you know, into one flyer. But we definitely are looking towards, um, and if anybody is tech savvy and wants to, has any ideas of how we can, you know, promote it more or, or mm -hmm. move it along, we definitely are open to ideas. Okay. Thank so, you. Thank you. I look forward to that email. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I can volunteer for that morning session. Okay. Be one of those volunteers. Okay. I, I'll just plan to be there if that's okay. I mean, who you yeah. can't man a yeah. ship alone if that ends up being the case, so. Yeah, and I'll, like I said, <laughs> MCN-wise, I'll just plan on being there all day. So, I mean, whatever, whenever I'm not Maybe. doing that, <laughs> just whatever you need me to do. Okay, great. Yeah. And we'll, we'll probably add... Um, so put something in in the paper just letting people know that if we happen to have more than five of you there um that you guys will be there but just we won't be taking any action you know it's, we'll just kind of let but we definitely will let the public know that you guys um may or may not you know have a you know there may be more than five of you there at a time no secret meetings um, but there will be no <laughs> secret meetings and we will not there will be no action you know being taken mm -hmm. while you guys are there um and so then at the end of the day, we would like one volunteer, but since you guys are going to be there, um, to help with um, checking in, I think throughout the day, just help checking in the speakers um, and then help checking people in that are getting continu in continuing education credits. Um, and then um, at the end, 
any volunteers that would like to help uh, grab evaluations, pass out certificates, clean up, things like that, that would be appreciated too. And as far as cleaning up, it's not like a uh, diversity thing, you know, <laughs> where, where we have the TPEC, so they're doing most of it. It's more like just picking up extra binders and helping to fold the tablecloth, stuff like that. Really yeah. simple. It didn't take us 30 minutes, I don't no, think. 15 so. minutes. No, I think that. last year I worked for the event center and we had to clean up all this, the cups and all that afterwards. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot easier for this side of things mm -hmm. to clean up mm -hmm. that there. So, but it sounds like you've added a lot to it and it's getting even bigger <laughs> each year and a lot more inclusive to everyone. So I'm really excited, excited about that. I, I do have one more question. I'm sorry, before we move on. Do you have, um, are you going to have pre-decided um, panel questions or like um, prompts? for them to discuss. Mm -hmm. Okay. Will we have a chance to kind of know those beforehand, or are you guys just going to kind of, I mean, I trust that you guys know what's up, but uh, I'm just if curious. You have any, how about if you have any suggestions, send them to us, because okay. we haven't finalized that yet, so okay. we'll definitely take suggestions for that. That always helps. Sometimes you need to open forum. People don't want to stand up or mm -hmm. they don't want to ask, so mm -hmm. that's a good idea. Yeah, we'll have preset questions and um, try to go over that topic as thoroughly as possible because it's so important and it just kind of shows that full circle um, effect that housing has on our community. So, And definitely feel free with any of this if you guys have any suggestions, comments, concerns, anything like that. Um, please don't hesitate in giving us a call or sending us an email and we are always open to suggestions and, you know, we... Um, have until March 27th mm -hmm. to make changes. Yeah, this is will be is it the third or fourth year doing this, and so uh, it's never. I don't think I've ever not made a change the day before of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, it, it, you know, we we will roll with it, and uh, we just appreciate the support from the commission and everything you guys do to help us um, get this event and provide it to the community. So. I don't, I don't know what my problem is. Maybe I've been home all day with my child, and that's why I'm just so <laughs> chatty. But would you think about having someone that's been personally affected in a positive way by the programs and assistance we offer in Salina? Because I think sometimes putting a, a person in front of a bunch of people that might be kind of out of touch with the situation brings it into more of a perspective into a real-life situation. No, I think that we definitely... We actually, it's funny that you said that because one of our um, topics um, was going to be um, fair housing success stories. Yes. Um, we ended up having to kind of swap that with a fair housing 101. Mm -hmm. um, not because we don't want to do that, but just because it didn't work out with the person that we were going to do it with. But um, I'm glad you said that because I think that that would be cool to have mm -hmm. somebody like that on the panel. So if you have any mm -hmm. suggestions for that, okay, please let mm -hmm. us know because that would be a good way to still have incorporate that in there. Mm -hmm. um, and, but you know, but uh, in the future, I would like I still want to mm -hmm. do like a fair housing success story type thing so that people can see the real life, mm -hmm. you know, side of like this is someone that was affected by it. This is someone that you know either overcame it or you know these these are real stories. I think when people hear stories they're more likely to kind of develop that empathy that you need mm -hmm. to understand, you know, why people are where they are and, and not judge them so much, so. That's an excellent idea. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything else, though? No, I'm, I'm done now. <laughs> Thank you, though. Thank you for the time. No, that's perfect. That's, well, that's what we're here for, is ask questions and figure this out together, so. Mm -hmm. uh, that's very good ideas. Uh, if nothing more on the housing seminar, we'll go to 3.2, the Commissioner Case Review Notice. We'll let Evelyn talk about that one. Okay. Oh. <laughs> so, um, I just wanted to say that, um, first of all, thank you all for everything that you do. Um, uh, this year, because we have so many cases, I think it'll be a little... Um, it's going to be a lot of decision-making, I think. <laughs> I just wanted to let you all know that. Um, 
we try to get as many cases as you know conciliated as possible, or you know, um, you know, kind of like I said, just conciliated so that they don't necessarily have to go to decision. I mean, that's always um, the goal, right? Is to get these come to these amicable solutions, but sometimes they do have to you know go to decision. So, um, you know, like right now we currently. Well, we're, we have one case that's being decided. We're going to have another one um, within, the, you know, the next couple of days. Um, and then we actually have one in line after that. So you're going to probably multiple times during this year be called to read a case. Um, we're trying to make it as simple as possible. Um, each time, hopefully, it'll be a little more simpler. We're streamlining it, you know, with our um, our um, final investigative reviews and things like that. So it, we make it as easy for you as possible to, you know, look through the case, look through all of the documents, and be able to come to a decision. Um, so um, that, I, that's basically all I wanted to say about that is that don't be surprised if you get called multiple times. We're not just picking on you as a random <laughs> thing, but we have to, you know, we try to take your name out the, the hat, um, obviously, once you've read a case, but because it's only nine of you, it's going to get right back in there as soon as the other people get called. So I just didn't want everybody to be like, why am I getting called to read <laughs> so many <laughs> times? So anyway, um, that's all I wanted to say about that. See, ultimately, that's... I mean, we're here for that anyway, so don't Thank ever you. feel bad Thank about it. Thank you so much for all you do. That's our job, <laughs> so to speak. So hopefully we can get more of them conciliated, though. And yes, you know, like we said, just that's had the one ideal conciliated. Way to get there. But. A surprise conciliation on Friday. So <laughs> that's that was, that was right. and it was a new one, so I was really surprised about that. But mm -hmm. it happened. We got it conciliated, and um, we'll be working to try to get as many conciliated as possible. But... You will be reading some because we got a lot of them. <laughs> yeah. Well, we've seen them adding up there. That kind of brings us up to the next mm -hmm. part, uh, section four, the unfinished order <laughs> business, the case docket log update. So we've all been kind of waiting for these decisions to come, mm -hmm. seeing these. So Yes. Um, okay. So this one actually, I just added this one, but this one was just conciliated. This is the one mm -hmm. um, Evelyn was talking about. And so um, we had... We had six new, one pending. Um, now we have five new, one conciliated, and one pending. And so this one, we'll update this one on the next log, and it'll say conciliated. Um, so this one's officially closed, which is great. Um, but as you can see, we have about 23 cases total. Um, we have been doing our due diligence to try to investigate and get everything we um you know, as a neutral third party, we, uh, you know, we have to just try to get as much facts as we can in order to provide you guys with what you need to make these decisions if they're not conciliated. So um, some of them have taken a little longer than than others. The, towards the end of the year, as I was updating this, I noticed, I was like, the week kind of doubled within the, the last couple months of the year um, in our housing cases. But that's, you know, that's okay. I think um, in the past we've had people come in and not necessarily f um, feel empowered or feel like they um, were, it was okay for them to fill out an app, you know, an application or it kind of, they were still just kind of hesitant. I think more and more people are coming in um, feeling a little bit more positive about, you know, about it. I think... Uh, that's definitely helped with with the change and the shift of more you know more cases coming in, but it's definitely as you can as you can see some of them have been open for a while. It's not a, I think a, we do get some people that come in and then we just don't you know see them again or they mm -hmm. just don't go move forward. If you believe it or not, we would probably I think have at least maybe five or six more cases than we have right now. Mm -hmm. But people you know it's. It's it, they want that immediate kind of assistance, which isn't something that we're able to provide. With it, it is a process. So, as you can see, you um, if you haven't already been, will be contacted soon, and probably immediately after that, 
contact it again <laughs> um, and again. And so we'll, we're we're going to keep you guys busy this year. Hopefully, you'll by the end. a good experience. Yes, if you ever want to go into this. <laughs> you guys will be experts and and well, be able to teach. Resume. You know, be able to teach this, which is is part of your your work plan, which I read over that you guys approved last you know last month was being able to to do that so um th that's kind of the, a quick update hopefully by february we are able to have some some closures on this and more updated information on where we stand with these cases what is the highlighted the highlight are the new cases the newest, mm -hmm. the newest ones mm -hmm. I will say that um, as far as the ones that have been in the office a long time, it could be different things. There, you know, might have been a change in investigator, which, you know, um, could prolong it a little bit. Um, sometimes there's a conciliation attempt, which might prolong it a little bit. Um, uh, or the case is just a complex with as far as legal issues, multiple legal issues and um, things like that. So it makes it a little bit... Uh, more difficult to investigate. So those are some of the reasons that a case might um, be, you know, take a little bit longer than others. So normally are uh, the majority of the cases in housing? Um, we've been kind of seeing the the housing shot up a little bit these last couple of weeks, but mm -hmm. we've been having employment and, and housing. housing. I think I I think those definitely stay pretty balanced. Mm -hmm. I think the one that is very rare is the public accommodation. Mm -hmm. You know, we do have one of those right now, but I, I, I think it's very common to see no public accommodation mm -hmm. and just have housing and employment. Um, right now, like I said, just within the past couple months, housing just kind of doubled and mm -hmm. um, employ, you know, employment stayed where it was it was that we just got one and then that one conciliated mm -hmm. very quickly so um, and it just it, it it's case by case I think um, at this time last year we were talking about how the Commission didn't have any cases mm -hmm. really to read because we were conciliating every single case um, and it was you know we'd get a case and say oh sorry but we conciliated it or we conciliate you know we conciliated so as you can see um, you know, we're here a year later, and it definitely looks very different from what it looked like last year. I remember a lot of those were employment. The, it seemed like a lot of the conciliated ones were employment ones last year, even the year before. Um, seemed like, but it's got a lot of housing ones. So. Yeah. Speaking of a year, today is my official year. <laughs> oh, <congratulations. laughs> Yeah. It has been a year already. So it's been a year today. <laughs> it does, happy. Yeah. It does go like longer, really. I mean, it just feels like you just. Part I know. Of a I just <laughs> after just probably the fifth uh -huh. month, it was just I'm family now. You're family. <laughs> Welcome to this crazy wild family we got here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, going moving on to the four point two, the customer assistance log. I, didn't we pull that out at one time? We did, and I am actually going to request we table it for February. I'd okay. like to get more accurate um, numbers okay. to finish out twenty numbers for 2019 for you guys as a commission. Okay. So in February, I want to come back with just a, a full report of what that log looks like for 2019. Because okay. you still got a lot, you still get in a lot of the assistance stuff, like the translations and things like that too. So and that's mm -hmm. what that entails. Yeah, just and and you just anybody didn't know what the Log general has. so if it if if a call a call can turn into a complaint yeah. but I would say 80% of our our calls don't necessarily turn into a complaint uh, it's more education you know because we do the advocacy and the education as well on on these topics and so a lot of it is educating the community and not necessarily just for our office we were just discussing of you know we the city of Salina does strive to do kind of um, a, a first first contact customer service so maybe it, it doesn't have to do anything with our office which happens many times mm -hmm. um, yes. but we try to assist so that we're not having a, a cust you know a, a community member go from place to place to place we try to do as much as we can to assist with helping um, with that breaking you know breaking that down but then also as a bilingual um, employee I am also uh, going around from place to place to place to help out with that as well. You guys are jackets of all trades. 
Well, I don't even speak. I speak probably poquito, poquito, poquito <laughs> Spanish, and I had to take someone up to try to <laughs> translate for them the other day. It was so funny, but I think that you know they people come to us because they feel comfortable. They feel that you know we'll be able to um, try to assist them with with kind of any concern because they come with. A variety of concerns. Mm -hmm. So, I did, you, care. you know, that's something that even I do as a non bilingual person. I went up there with her, you know, because she she wanted someone, you know, to, to be with her um, to at least try to explain what was going on. I was able to kind of navigate her paperwork a little bit. Um, so, um, yeah, I mean, I think we just advocate in general for. Um, people to learn about their rights and, 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 and have an equal opportunity to participate in um, things here in the city and, and, and in the county and just in general. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You guys do a lot, a lot, oh, a lot. You. So <laughs> I, I'm happy to serve on this commission knowing that you ladies are in the office like doing more than I could imagine Thank having to so do. Much. So. I'm glad that year didn't scare you away. You could have been running <laughs> towards the hills. Uh, you made it here. Yeah, you're, you're locked here. in now. You're locked in. <laughs> All right. Um, 4.3, upcoming outreach events, activities. I know we have the housing seminar, but anything, I mean, that's a few months away. Anything before then? We do. Um, we have a couple. We don't have any specific dates. I would just... Um, urge you guys to check your email. We have a couple housing educational opportunities that will be coming up soon. I think sooner than later. I think we keep on telling ourselves, oh, that's 2020 and we're already in 2020. Mm -hmm. So um, we definitely have a couple coming up you know, in April, which will be here before we've known it. For the new commissioners, April is Fair Housing Month. So um, a couple of our um, educational outreaches happen during that month just to help with the awareness but I think this year we've kind of tried to strategically plan a couple spread it at least mm -hmm. as, as much as we can so that not everything happens in April so I think we're trying to look at towards the end of January February you know March and then in April so anything that uh, that we do decide to provide that we're able to bring you guys on board we will let you guys know if you guys even if it's just a table if you guys want to come and you know come out and and help us talk with you know the community members get to know and let them get to know you guys i don't think you guys get enough opportunity to let the community get to meet you guys and 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 see so just like you guys are, are, are thanking us, we, we appreciate you guys yes. for being willing to, you know, for volunteering your time and being willing to serve on this commission. Um, we specifically, um, I mean, we want to educate the entire community, but we really want to outreach to um, the Spanish-speaking community as well, um, you know, the, so that we can start to, um, you know, be attractive to everybody. We want to be attractive to everyone in the community so that everyone can learn. Um, and so if you all have any kind of resources or suggestions for um organizations or people that we can reach out to do that we will really appreciate that like Julia said we want to have um, some events we're in the kind of in the planning process and we want to finalize those as soon as possible because it's you know it's coming up um, we will be all you know able to um, once we kind of get those finalized a able to offer some really good free food mm -hmm. and um, you know some other things incentives for people so um, if like I said if you know if any person or organization that we can reach out to do that. Um, we'd like to kind of have some partnerships so if we could have, you know, a couple of organizations come together with their clients and we provide the education and the food and things like that. Um, that would be awesome. So if you have any suggestions, please let us know. I would say public forum, but our public left. <laughs> <laughs> so... Uh, anybody else have anything they wanted to add to the meeting to this evening? No? Then I would hold a for a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. And if everyone approves, say aye. Aye. aye.
Aye. Aye. Motion. Holders. We are adjourned. I just love the gavel. Oh, no, I just wondered if I just.